Steel Smith, however, is not a PBA member. If he wins the tournament, there's no exemption. And Rick has already said, I will graduate in December and uh, hopefully get my card and get everything in order, and I'll start the tour next January. Oh. Cool as a cucumber, this 22-year-old right-hander. And the bowling is changing. You know, years ago, you had the quote, uh, for lack of a better phrase, the bowling alley bum, you know, that lived at the bowling center and, and bowled there all the time. And now we're getting college graduates that Snell tries for three in a row. Pretty! <laughs> well, whatever Brad Snell worked on in practice, obviously he's implementing that here in the title match. You've all already mentioned that uh, Rick will be participating on the USA team in the FIQ World Championships June 17th through the 13th in Helsinki. And he'll also represent the U.S. in the Tournament of the Americas in Miami in August. That's going to finish up. That's a tally bowl in Helsinki, yeah. right? Yep. Finish up a brilliant collegiate career, amateur career, and then turn professional. This one's got to hurry, and it does as he reaches deep down, got a few more revolutions, and that's a key double in the sixth and the seventh. <laughs> Oh, you used to fight off all those young lions, Mike Durbin. Don't give me that excuse. One more time, and it's a perfect afternoon for a youngster from Wichita, Kansas, as he clinches the Masters, 258 to 219, in one of the most superb bowling exhibitions that anybody has seen in a long, long time. And boy, what a future he has. We'll be back for the final word right after this.